This is the world's most secure convoy, protected with more security than even the US president. This convoy is transporting a weapon of mass destruction from one location to another. If something goes wrong, the world's most dangerous weapon could fall into the wrong hands, threatening not just one nation, but the entire globe. Hence, no compromises can be made on its security. So how does a superpower like America transport nuclear weapons? In the event of an attack, highly trained federal agents are prepared to handle the situation in a specific manner. There are 12,515 nuclear weapons in the world, with 4,100 held by the United States alone. These weapons are distributed across the country, with active arsenals maintained by the US Air Force, military and Navy submarines. Additionally, thousands of these weapons are in storage mode, serving as backup and dispersed throughout North America. But why are nuclear weapons scattered around? Nuclear weapons are always dispersed and hidden in different parts of a country to prevent enemies from rendering them ineffective with a single attack. By spreading them out, even if an enemy strikes, they won't be able to destroy all the nuclear weapons at once, ensuring some remain for self-defense. But you might be wondering, if these weapons are already safely stored, why is there a need to transport them from one place to another? The primary reason for transporting nuclear weapons is maintenance. Just as with any military equipment, keeping nuclear weapons in top condition is essential. Since these weapons aren't used constantly, their mechanical parts can rust, and the integrity of the plutonium or uranium must be regularly checked to ensure they function properly when needed. While nuclear weapons are strategically positioned, their maintenance is carried out at a central facility. In the US, the National Nuclear Security Administration manages the security and maintenance of these weapons. There are several reasons for removing nuclear weapons from strategic locations. For instance, if intelligence agencies receive information that the location of nuclear weapons has been leaked, they are immediately removed. The security around areas where nuclear weapons are kept is so strict that it is nearly impossible to approach without permission. However, when these weapons need to be transported, they travel on roads used by everyone. While hidden in remote locations, their security becomes quite complex when on the road. To tackle this challenge, the US government has established a dedicated agency responsible for the security of nuclear weapons. The military convoys you see are often employed to transport these weapons from one location to another. These convoys are so heavily secured that their level of protection is beyond what most people can imagine. The number of vehicles in these convoys can vary based on the size of the nuclear weapon and its destination. These convoys include police vehicles tasked with clearing congested roads to ensure a safe passage. Among these vehicles are the high-security convoy trucks, closely guarded by heavily fortified Bearcats. These Bearcats are not just bulletproof, they are built to withstand extreme threats. Each Bearcat is manned by a team of four to six elite federal agents, trained as commandos, who stand ready to defend the convoy with deadly precision. Armed with handguns, shotguns, assault rifles, and thousands of rounds of ammunition, these agents are prepared for any scenario. In the most extreme situations, the Bearcats are equipped with automatic machine guns to repel any attack and ensure the safety of the convoy at all costs. During regular transport operations, these agents maintain intense vigilance, analyzing every detail and constantly sharing information. The convoys are equipped with radio communication on three separate channels. One channel is dedicated to coordinating and contacting each other in the event of an attack, while the second channel provides real-time updates from the convoy. According to standard operating procedure, a nuclear convoy typically consists of five trucks, with two additional Bearcats positioned one kilometer ahead. This multi-channel communication setup ensures that if attackers manage to jam one frequency, the forward Bearcats can still use a different channel to call for backup, maintaining a critical line of defense. Additionally, the entire convoy is linked to an emergency control center, which plays a crucial role in coordinating backup forces during an emergency. If backup forces are dispatched, they will communicate with the convoy according to a specific standard operating procedure, whether they are police or military personnel. The control center ensures that all communications are conducted via encrypted radio links with code words to ensure that the backup forces are verified and not mistaken for attackers. 
This rigorous protocol is designed to safeguard the nuclear weapon and ensure that only authorized forces can access it in a crisis. The truck transporting the nuclear weapon is a fortress on wheels, custom-built for ultimate security. Its body is forged from ultra-tough steel, impervious to any common tools, grinders or drills, and can withstand severe accidents. Even if it catches fire, this impenetrable shell can keep the nuclear weapon safe for hours. The driver's cabin is a bunker of its own, bulletproof and bombproof, with doors that can only be opened from inside. Weighing a staggering 55,000 pounds, the truck's immense weight severely limits its speed and maneuverability, but it has an additional security feature. If attackers manage to seize control and attempt to drive off with it, hidden explosives rigged to the axles will detonate, causing the truck to crash to the ground. Its colossal weight makes it nearly impossible to move without its wheels, ensuring that the nuclear weapon remains secure and immobile under any assault. Inside the truck, the nuclear weapon is secured within a highly restricted container. Access to this container is controlled by electronic locks, with only the National Nuclear Security Administration possessing the electronic keys. Even if someone were to forcibly breach the truck's cargo area, an automatic spray gun would deploy a thick, adhesive substance designed to severely restrict movement. For those who somehow manage to overcome this barrier, an electric shock system delivers a jolt six times more powerful than standard household current, ensuring any intruder is neutralized. Additionally, helicopters continuously monitor the convoy from above. When their fuel levels drop, they are seamlessly replaced by other helicopters, allowing the original ones to return. These helicopters carry backup forces prepared to take extreme measures to protect the nuclear weapon. With such comprehensive security measures in place, it is highly unlikely that the world's most dangerous weapon would fall into the wrong hands in the US. Throughout American history, nuclear weapons have been transported thousands of times, and not a single convoy has ever been compromised. From the heavily armored trucks to the vigilant helicopters and advanced defensive systems, every aspect of this operation is designed to ensure that these weapons remain secure and out of harm's way. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more content like this. And if you want to know how microchips are made from sand, watch the video on your screen. Like the video if you have enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating notifications to continue learning. Thank you for watching.